strange mating behaviors of animals. Number 13, nursery web spiders. Males of this arachnid species seem to have one chance to favorably impress a potential mate or risk being killed. To ensure their chances of survival, the males will arrive with a gift, which is usually a dead insect wrapped in the silk. It's thought the offering is made as a precautionary tactic. Researchers found that males who showed up without an offering were more likely to get eaten. In contrast, those who would show up with a gift were allowed more time for sex. Sometimes though, the male tries to fool the female by offering her a fake gift wrapped in silk in an effort to deceive her into mating. Number 12. Banana fiddler crabs. They're found from the beaches of West Africa to the Indo-Pacific. The males are known to have a major yellow claw much larger than the minor one, and that big claw inspired the fiddler reference. The males are also known for the sneaky method of courtship. They initially woo the female with their larger claw, essentially inviting them into their burrow or nesting place. Normally, the male enters the burrow, and if the female is interested, she will follow him in. But in some cases, the male waits for the female to enter the burrow first, then follows her in and traps her there, increasing their chance to mate. Normally, females will visit at least 20 males before choosing Mr. Right. Number 11, having a ball. Here's an example of mating behavior between some adult male toads that does qualify as strange. A photographer in Germany took these pictures of the toads in a lake snuggling up to a discarded tennis ball. The amorous amphibians thought they were embracing a female thanks to the ball's curved shape and size. Experts say that during mating season, male toads will pretty much latch onto anything that looks or feels like a female toad. Number 10, Desert Grassland Whiptail Lizard. These creatures are found in the deserts of Arizona and along the Rio Grande River in New Mexico. They're long and slim, with a tail that is longer than their body length. That's not the most amazing trait, though. This is an all-female species of reptile. Researchers have confirmed that no males have been discovered in the species. So, what's the mating ritual? It involves pseudocopulation, a behavior where the females essentially take turns switching between male and female roles. You can see an example of it in this photo by Tino Mauricio as one animal attempts to mount the other. The behavior is thought to promote egg production in both female lizards. The creatures actually reproduce by parthenogenesis, or reproduction without fertilization. Number 9. Red-sided garter snake. The mating habits of these animals resembles something of a reptilian orgy. Generally, there are far more males than females. During mating season, one or more females can be completely overwhelmed by 10 male snakes or more. As the creatures writhe and entwine about each other, it results in a type of mating ball. The male creatures coil about one another in an attempt to impregnate the female. Some males are known to release female pheromones in an effort to distract their competitors and gain some alone time with the female. Number 8. Anglerfish. These deep sea predators are named for the spiny appendage sprouting from their head that they use as bait to lure in prey. Given these fish live on the ocean floor, finding a significant other might prove bothersome. Scientists noticed two perplexing things in regard to the anglerfish. One, they had never located a male fish, and two, all female anglerfish have a lump on their bodies that appears like a parasite. But it turns out this lump is the remains of the male fish. Because tiny male anglerfish are born without digestive systems, they have to find a female quickly once they hatch. When the male locates a female, he bites her body, and that releases an enzyme that fuses the two creatures together. Over time, the male withers away until nothing is left of him except that lump on the body of the female anglerfish. When she's ready to spawn, the male lump, quote-unquote, releases sperm to fertilize her egg. Number 7. 
Hippos. We will warn you right now, if you're eating, you may want to skip this segment. So you might guess that any animal that looks like a hippo isn't going to take the subtle approach when it comes to wooing a mate. When a male hippo has set his sights on a potential mate, he positions himself where she can clearly see him. Whereupon, the male then proceeds to lose control of his bowels and bladder on purpose. And to make sure his intended cannot forget him, the male hippo spins his tail like a propeller, sending the stink and filth to the nostrils of his beloved. Like we said, not exactly subtle. Number 6. If you've seen Finding Nemo or Finding Dory, you're familiar with clownfish. But did you know they can switch genders when it's required? They are known as sequential hermaphrodites. Clownfish develop first as males and upon maturation become females. Clownfish or anemone fish adhere to a strict dominance hierarchy, with the biggest and most aggressive female found at the top. In a group, only a male and a female will reproduce. But should the female clownfish be removed from the group, then one of the more dominant males will transform into a female. And that leaves the rest of the males to move up a notch in the hierarchy. Number 5. White-fronted parrots. This Central American species of parrot has an extremely unusual way of initiating the mating process. Not unlike humans, they'll snuggle up close and lock lips, or beaks in this case. But completely unlike humans, the male then regurgitates directly into the mouth of his intended. The female usually accepts this gift as a sign of intimacy. Either she's very understanding, or the male parrot used a great mouthwash. Number 4. Praying mantis. These insects have a bad reputation when it comes to deadly mating rituals, and it seems that reputation is well earned. A receptive female is known to eat her lover while in the midst of lovemaking and starts by biting off his head. It's one of the better researched types of sexual cannibalism. Well, the good news for the male mantids is that this sort of incident only happens about 16% of the time. But even with those odds, do you think it's worth the risk? Number 3. Wild hares. Ever wonder where the term mad as a March hare comes from? Well, it refers to the springtime mating season of hares. The amorous males are often seen leaping through the fields, and they fight for the right to mate with the elusive female. You can get a vivid illustration of the mating rituals in these pictures by Andy Rouse. It's amazing how they actually seem to throw punches at each other. Just look at that. The males, or jacks, will box with each other, or with the jills as well, as a precursor to mating. Only the most determined male who manage to endure the fighting and high-speed chases will win the rights to mate with the female. Number 2. Red-capped mannequin. This bird is found in tropical forests of Central America through South America. Its look is decidedly cool, and it has an even cooler method to court the ladies. When he targets the female of his choice, this guy is known to perform a type of moonwalk, not unlike Michael Jackson. He'll also emit a series of noises like buzzes and snapping sounds, so it's a complete song and dance act. It not only serves to woo his lady, but it also warns off other potential suitors, as if to say, the girl is is mine. Number 1. Pandemonium. Female giant pandas are known to lose their desire to mate once in captivity and are very selective about their partners. That results in incredibly low breeding rates. When giant pandas at Chiang Mai Zoo in Thailand were unenthusiastic about mating, zookeepers there hit upon the idea of showing the animals videos of other giant pandas having sex. And this is also known as panda pornography. Researchers there have reported some successful panda couplings after using this method. Similar success has also been found in China. After commencing the experiment, 31 cubs were born there over a 10-month period. Other methods to stimulate the panda's libido include dance-like exercises that boost the animal's stamina, and even administering Viagra to jumpstart the procreative process. <laughs> <laughs> 